Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're reviewing what to do when we have what we call a restricted pendulum. A pendulum is able to swing in one direction freely, but on the other direction, the string hits a peg and only the bottom part of it will then swing outward. And when it comes back, the whole thing will swing back. Assuming no energy is lost, this can just happen forever, so to speak. So how do we deal with that? Well, it turns out that the total period is equal to one half times the sum of the period the pendulum has on the left side and the period the pendulum has on the right side. Notice that on the left side the length is two meters, on the right side the effective length is only a half a meter. The mass doesn't matter, I put it up there, but it really doesn't matter. And so what happens is that the period of oscillation is one half times the period on the left side plus the period on the right side and we simply take our common equation for the period. In this case, the length is 2 meters, there it's 0.5 meters. Since it's one quarter the length, it will have half the period. And you can see with the numbers that this is exactly half of this number right here. And then when we work out the numbers, we end up with a period of 2.13 seconds. Just the key here is that you just calculate the period on both sides, add them together, take half of that. Essentially, that's taking the average value, and that is the period of the whole pendulum when it's restricted on one side. 